Hello my friend, thank you for being here. You know the purpose of this channel is just to give you an idea how you can make your own work related to upholstery and this video is not an exception. I will give you an idea. I will show you how you can repair a seat cover. You know when a person who drive a car smoke and then those hash going into, into the seat cover. So uh, create that, burn the seat cover. Sometimes you have to replace the whole panel and sometimes you just can uh, cut it a little bit and uh, sewing uh, in a little bit and to repair the cover. I will show you how you can do that. And this cover, it is not necessary to replace the top panel. I just will cut it a little bit in and I will uh, take it to a sewing machine and I will uh, sew it. Uh, to do this, you have to know how to use how to use in the sewing machine. This is a 2017 Toyota Camry and you can see it right there. That's what I'm going to uh, repair and the good thing right there my friend is the cover is loose so uh that give me a, a chance to just uh with the sewing machine get a little bit in and that would be enough to repair this seat cover sometimes when it's made out of leather the cover is out of leather you don't have no choice you have to replace the whole panel top sometimes you have to replace the top and sometimes you have to replace the side panel when it's uh, out of leather but right here is fabric, so uh, if you never done something like this before, um, be careful, uh, you have to disconnect the seat, remember to put the kit away from the ignition, remove it, and you have to move the seat back to remove the, uh, the screw that are on the front, and the front has two screws, make sure everything is working, everything it has to work. The screw are right there, when you remove the two uh, screws from the front, you have to remove two screws that are located on the back, uh, of the seat. So remove some uh, plastic uh, cover in there and behind those plastic you will see the two screws. Sometimes, most of the time, those screws are 14 millimeters, sometimes I 50, 15. So I am removing those uh, screws and not easy to remove it. Easy, it's not a big deal. Just make sure to remove it. And when you remove the seat out of the car, just be careful. Don't scratch those uh, panels plastic panel, those plastic uh, trim, don't scratch it because when the car is, imagine 2017, the car is not at all. So and customer uh, might notice if you scratch something. And here one more thing, when you are disconnecting those uh, plug, uh, uh, be careful. Uh, the yellow plug always, always belong to the airbag. Always, you have to uh, pay close attention to that. See, I got that kit on my hand that kitty has to be away from this ignition. So uh, a lot of people told me to make a tutorial, to make a video specific how to they, uh, how to then uh, can disconnect those plugs, but it is easy. This video uh, is not going to be about that. I will make a video specific for that, but not on this kind of car. Will be on the Mercedes, on the on another brand. Those kind of cars that are a little bit complicated to disconnect it. As you can see right now, I got the uh, bucket seat on my table and I, I had to remove those, pl this kind of seat had two, those plastic had two screws on the, on the back, one on each side, you had to remove it. You had to remove those plastic in order to remove the cover. Otherwise, you, uh, you won't be able to remove the cover. Just pull that panel out, pull it out a little bit, then pull, uh, pull it through you. And that's it, that panel is out. And behind that is a, a material with one small, uh, no, that one, on this car, it doesn't have a screw. It doesn't have a plastic. Some car have a plastic. So now I, that panel have a, like a little thing right there. You have to move it forward. Otherwise, you won't be able to remove it. Uh, but to do that, you have to do it this way. See, you have to lift that panel. Be careful. Don't pull it too hard. You will be break. Uh, you will break it. See, now just pull it to the front, and that panel is out. So what is next? You have to disconnect it. Be careful when you are disconnected. Even the car is new. You see, I am pulling the panel back that way you can see it. And there is two clicks that you have to uh, remove it. When you're done removing those two clicks, you have to unplug. And you will see right there. You just can, um, if you cannot disconnect it because you don't have the right tool, you just can do it in there. But I disconnect it, see? That plastic is 
let's connect. So uh, now it is easy for me to remove the seat cover. The seat cover will come out with the phone out of the frame. There is a plastic that is attached to the uh, seat frame and you have to uh, remove that plastic. Just pay attention how the plastic it is attached to the frame. And right here, there's plastic in there too. It's easier, it is not hard, it is easier. Then that plastic is out. Now you just, uh, there is one more plastic on the back. You will see how that plastic is connected, is um, on the uh, seat frame. And you have to, you can see it right there. I am using this kind of tool. This is a door panel click remover. But you can use a flat screwdriver. You can use a spatula. Uh, you can use uh, so many tools just to uh, disconnect that plastic out of there. So this uh, seat in the cover is out of the frame. It is out. So I just put the frame on the floor. And now I'm going to work on this part. This is the part that I need to work because the problem it is right there. Driver's side, the outside. You just have to have like a racing blade or a utility knife because you have to unstitch. You don't have to unstitch the whole cover. You have to unstitch those two panels. See, I unstitch. And you don't have to unstitch the whole panel. One side only. See, I am unstitch it. Just be careful, don't cut it, because if you cut it, you will ruin it. And stitch a little by little. If it, the seat cover it doesn't have a, like a one quarter of an inch or half inch thickness bone, you can uh, do this kind of repair in the uh, those kind of machine for a uh, uh, cloth, but it has to be like heavy duty machine for cloth, like uh, those ones who saw uh, Levi's, or blue jean, those kind of uh, a sewing machine. Uh, but I prefer, uh, I recommend it to use like a upholstery sewing machine. So I uh, diamond stitches, so I have to remove all those uh, uh, thread remaining there. So I just unstitch that part. I will cut it a little bit. I will cut it at least one quarter. At least, at least. See, I'm putting a mark in there. And I'm going to remove the cover out of that phone. Be careful. Uh, you have to cut those uh, hand ring. It's better to cut it. Don't pull it. Because if you pull it, you might bring, uh, unglue the wire that is on. Uh, glue into the phone. So I got that part removed from the phone. So now I'm going to cut it and you will see how much do I cut it. See the marker is right there. And I am going to cut it just a little bit, just a little bit. And the good thing, like I said at the beginning, this is fabric. If it, this was out of leather, uh, sometime when you cut it, when you do that, uh, taking a little bit, it doesn't look good. So I'm fabric, and plus the fabric was this cover right there was like a little bit loose, so this will be okay. Now, uh, after I disconnected, after I uh, unstitch it, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And I am here on the sewing machine. Like I say, you, I prefer uh, to, uh, I prefer to use a upholstery sewing machine. But if you, uh, your cover it doesn't have like one quarter of an inch or half inch thickness font, you can uh, sew in these pieces. In, uh, in in those kind of like uh, a cloth uh, sewing machine, but it has to be heavy duty for cloth, not for upholstery. Now I just start sewing. 
and right there I'm going to get in a little bit right there it's at least one quarter inch from that hole I got him on there a little by little it then I have to put two top stitch because remember it have to top stitch before And the top stitch are not on the side panel, are on the top panel. I made the stitch, uh, always I made the stitch like uh, bigger on the top stitch. When I'm putting my top stitch or a French stitch, I always make it bigger. But not too much. And I am pulling those pieces away from the needle. You can see them right there. Not just sewing, eh? You have to keep two things on my that stitch has to be straight, but you have to pull uh, those two pieces away from the needle. Those two things. I done one stitch already going to put the other one around the third panel. And the distance, most of the time, the distance from one stitch to another one is one eighth of an inch. You can see I'm using that part of the uh, uh, press foot as a guy right there. One A. One A. Simple. You will need a practice to do this. So I got this stand, so I'm going to sew in those other pieces underneath. Simple thing. And maybe the cover right there will be a little bit shorter, like one quarter. Maybe, as you can see right there, it's a little bit shorter, but that's not a big deal. The customer had two choices to repair like I am doing or to buy a new cover. Simple as that, two choice. Sometimes customers don't wanna pay. Sometimes when the cover, uh, when the car is um, has less than 30,000 uh, miles, the dealer uh, has to repair this. It's under, the car is under the warranty in the United States, less than 30,000 miles. So I put that part in there. And I just put this stitch. This is the last stitch. This is the, the tail. Is the, the stitch that is going on the tail. This is it. And this is done. This is done. So now I gotta take it to the table and mount in this cover. It shouldn't be a big deal. It should be easier. Got my right there. One quarter in from that hole. Let's see if this will affect the cover. The this process. I am pretty sure that it's going to look fine, going to look good. Uh, let's find out. And you will see it right here. I'm making sure no uh, rain in there. And I got the cover right here. And it is time to put him on. First, I have to make sure those wires are in there. Sometimes when you are sewing, those wires are getting uh, get out of that lifting in there. I will use uh, this uh, hand ring plier. It's a manual. It's not a big deal. And I remove that wire because to put those two wire that are across I need to fold this cover and when that wire was in I couldn't fold it so now it is easy you see I am putting those hand rim in there it had two hand rim each uh, wire and same thing with the front uh, wire and you have to do the same thing where well, you can buy the hand rim ply you can buy them on Amazon you can buy them on eBay there are a lot of play where you can get it it's between $25 and $40, that one. But you can get uh, some other brands, another kind, cheaper than that. So I got those two 
full already so I'm going to do the other two uh, uh, to sink in this cover always put this uh, those uh, wiremen there always always make sure or the way the color will look plain and will look uh, uh, last touch uh, the shape I'm going to put this wire back in and it's there now I just put a uh, sunk in a little bit and with those hand ring simple and I do the other thing right here and just one more one more and okay that part is done so now I'm going to put them right there and find now as you can see right there it is not bad eh? it looks okay but I have to put them on to make sure that cover look perfect in there and just remember how you uh, take this uh, part out of the frame because you have to put it back you have to put it back I'm going to clean the table and make sure nothing is on there now I bring the frame to the table and I start putting that part inside there I put the camera, fix the camera right there. So now I'm going to start putting this part inside. First, I have to make sure the back part is in. That will be the hardest part, I would say, of this process in there. You have to know how to do it. If it's, it is hard for you and you can't do it, so put uh, a WD-40 or put soft in there uh, to put that part in. not only the material had to go through there the font too and i got that part in so now it is time to put the front and remember the plastic of the front front to wrap that piece of metal in there and you will hear that click if you don't hear that click it's because that plastic is not on And I got the front, so the side which should be easier. And I got that part, it has to be in there. There is a one plastic and there is a metal, and you saw that part. I put the plastic, I wrap the metal with that plastic. So, in the inside is done. So, I'm going to concentrate now on the outside, right here. And it shouldn't be hard. Remember there is all phone and the cover is making a lot of fabric so that simplify everything. And it's turned apart. So now I just have to put those trim around and connect it first. Make sure those uh, plugs are connected. If it, there is a click holding those cable, make sure to put those click in there don't leave it hanging because if we um, connect it from the front put the front part of this plastic first and then uh, con uh, put it right there and that plastic is in I just have to put a screw on the back to hold making sure uh, hold that plastic in place and put a screw right there And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side, right here. Remember, if you never done something like this before, if you don't do a poster for living, this might take you uh, longer. It uh, might take you like three hours, four hours to do it. But that's okay. Remember, you are not doing this for living. You are doing this for hobby. So. Uh, uh, the most important thing is to get this um, 
uh, job dumped. And I just put in one screw on the other side. And it's almost done. I'm just going to clean it and making sure to connect it right there. That is the last part. Putting those elastic into that sp uh, spring, holding the pop, uh, back part of this cover. And I am making sure to blow all the dash that is on the cover. And pretty much that's it. This is done. This is a 2017 Toyota Camry. So the car is in good condition. The car is look nice from inside. But uh, those little things, uh, when people don't take care, people smoke, there is a big risk that a uh, hash can go into that seat cover and that will create a holes. And a lot of people take care of that, uh, that thing immediately and some of them they don't take care. They leave it like that and the hole is getting bigger and bigger and they have to pay more at the end to fix it. So there is the seat in the car. You can see the cover in there. It's hard to tell that I cut it like a half inch. It is hard. It's hard to tell. Look nice, look like if it, nothing happened. So uh, the purpose of this channel is just to give you an idea how you can make your own job. And this is an example. To do this, you will need like a, a industrial sewing machine. You will need to know the basics about how to use the sewing machine, sewing. And the rest I give you here an idea. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the like, uh, the like button if that was the key. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell. Click the bell. So thank you so much. See you in the next video.